hello and welcome to my channel in this video i'm doing like a valentine set but it's so simple and honestly i could have done more but i just i don't have enough monomer like i would have done like if i had enough monomer i would have done something really nice really crazy but like i have like i would say an ounce of monomer left like i don't even know like just a very small amount of monomer so i decided to do some i decided to do a pop-up set and since i don't have enough monomer i'm doing short shorter nails than normal and i am devastated about it because i did want to do 5xl nails but i can't but also i am using nail forms today because I would rather not have to buy more tips anytime soon. So um, y'all are gonna see me using forms for a while until I get more monomer probably. Um, because I can't be doing 5XL with forms. I actually am, well, every time I do stiletto, I'm probably gonna do forms, but I'm actually getting some new, some new forms, sorry. I hope they're longer than these ones because these ones like go up to I think what it says 3XL but like they're way they're way small uh shorter than Zule's tips which are 3XL so like I don't know I don't understand why there isn't like a universal sizing when it comes to nails like people say XL people say 5XL 3XL but like it's not based off of anything like it's not based off anything universal like it's all random i swear because if these forms are 3xl like i don't understand i'm pretty sure they're shorter than zule's tips like they look shorter than zule's tips yeah they're definitely shorter so yeah i don't get it but anyway i'm doing a red ombre black to red or red to black whatever you want to call it and this is pretty simple to do i'm going to be doing it on all four of my nails but i'm not going to i'm not going to show my other three nails just my pinky because it's the same thing So after I have all my ombres done, I'm going to take my nail forms off. And the way you want to do this is, I think, start from the tip of the nail, the free edge, I mean, and pinch from up there. So something like this won't happen. So start at the free edge of the nail and pinch it until it comes loose. So you don't have anything like that happen. But I'm taking them off before I encapsulate just because I feel like encapsulating without the forms on is easier. And also, I don't like wearing the forms, so I'm just going to take them off. But anyway, after I take them off, I'm going to fix up the ombre on this finger here that I'm fixing right now. I'm going to like touch up the ombre on this nail and also on my index nail.
So now I'm going to speed the video up a little bit more during encapsulation because I show encapsulation like almost, almost every video. So I'm going to speed this one up quite a bit and show the filing as well. And since I'm going to be showing both of those processes, I don't want the video to be too, too long considering how simple these nails are. It doesn't really require an hour long video or anything like that. So I'm just going to speed speed this up and I think normally I would put it on like two times speed but like I said I am leaving filing in So for filing the nails, I'm going to start off with a pear bit and this bit I got from Amazon for like $6 or something. I don't know why, but to me, like bits are kind of expensive, like these single ones that, um, I don't know, like I guess they're high quality. I don't know anything about like bits and stuff, like they're just tiny little metal things to me. like. I know that I know what certain ones are used for like I can look at one and tell what I would use it for but like I don't know anything about what they're made of besides metal and like are they like a super high quality metal because why are they so expensive like I don't get it but anyway I got it a long time ago so not a long time ago but sometime last year um sometime towards the end of last year i don't know when i got it but not too long ago but i've had it for a while and i haven't used it like too much because usually my cuticles are like way too thick but with my cuticle app my cuticle application on this set um my cuticles were fine so i could use my parabit instead of my five and one for my cuticle area like i normally do and the reason why i'm not doing it on my thumb is to save monomer and to save time because I'm trying to get this video out on Saturday and I'm recording and editing on Wednesday so I just thought let me skip out on my thumb it doesn't really matter even if I did my thumb it will be the same as other nails I tend to go back and forth a lot with my e-drill and my hand file just because there's some mistakes that I don't get with my e-drill like um i started hand filing my pinky but i put a five in one bit a carbide bit or however you say it in my drill and i use that instead because i can't get a fine point on a stiletto with just a hand file it will take forever and on top of that there are some lumps and bumps that i like to smooth out with my five in one bit so typically i go in with my five in one bit first but I thought I wouldn't have to, so that's why, yeah. But typically I go in with it first and end up still having to like bring it back after I'm done using it because just, I go too overboard with my acrylic application sometimes. Like I make the nail too thick. So I'm gonna try and stop doing that. So when I do use my e-drill, I can just, use it and then be done with it and then move on to hand filing and then be done but regardless of whether or not i did switch back and forth with the e-drill and the hand file filing only took me like 15 minutes or so which is pretty good for me to be honest so yeah
but with the pear bit i was sealing the cuticles with the five and one bit i was debulking and um, refining the shape of the stiletto to a finer point and with this hand file i'm getting underneath the side um like underneath the side walls i think and i'm just going under the nail to make it straight and smooth and also i'm going to go on the surface of the nail until the whole entire nail is white so that's how you tell that's how you can tell your nail doesn't have any more lumps and bumps is when the whole thing is white after you're done hand filing it Now getting to this into the design, I wanted to do something like a neon heart and I kind of wanted this to be an anti-Valentine set, but I just am not in a creative mood. Like I'm not feeling that motivated or creative. So I just went with a heart, let's just like a regular heart, but I did try to make it look sort of neon and I've watched a billion times tutorials how to do neon with gel polish, but I don't think I accomplished it, but I still think the heart looks cool. And I'm using Modern One's white gel polish and the color Perfect Red from Madame Glam, and I'll have everything linked below. I was going to use this blooming gel, but I didn't really find any use for it. And also, I forgot to use it, so let's be real. That's the real reason why I didn't use it. I forgot, but whatever. So I'm drawing a heart um, on... I'm drawing half a heart on my middle and ring finger to connect to make a whole heart and I could not for the life of me get this even but it's not like I really gave it multiple tries I just tried my best to make it look good enough but I'm starting out with a white outline of the heart and then I'll explain the rest of the steps as I go.
so after curing the white outline for 60 seconds i'm putting a little bit of top coat with this with this red gel polish and i'm just painting it on like this and i'm just painting it over the white outline and also on top of the background of the white outline and then i'm going to clean off my brush with a little bit of acetone which is on that cotton pad there and then i'm going to like I don't know how to describe it like feather out the polish and then I will on to the next step So now I added like a deeper, not a deeper, but like a thicker coat of the red and I'm doing the same thing with feathering it out. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do this on both halves of the heart. And then after that, I'm just gonna go in the middle of the heart and add another white outline to like try to make it seem neon. After that's all done, I'm top coating the nails with Madame Glam top coat, which is not a no wipe top coat, but I think it's like still super shiny. Plus, I like it way more. It gets me like the top coat I'm using, the top coat that I normally use gets me a lot of trouble because it's super thin and doesn't like stick to the nail for some reason. Like it's very annoying. So. I do prefer this top coat, so I'm probably gonna be using it a lot more often depending on what sets I'm using it for since it is a top coat that you have to wipe. 
it's not going to be good for certain sets like with more textured rhinestones or textured nail charms i'll just use my regular no white top coat but anyway after i'm done top coating this is the final look so i hope you enjoyed and apologies that i'm not being that creative lately but it's it's hard y'all it's hard because i post like three times a week and my posting schedule has been weird and changing up but it's just because like i've been i've just been slacking so i honestly probably need a break but i'm not gonna take a break so i hope y'all enjoy and subscribe and like the video and leave a comment let me know what you think about the nails or let me know what y'all want to see next um i did get a comment saying to do invisible french so i'm gonna try that soon when i get more monomer but Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.